India is the third largest egg producer and the fourth largest chicken meat producer in the world. This industry contributes around 95,000 crore rupees to the gross national production and employs more than six million dollars, largely in the rural parts of the country. However, this industry could be potentially staring at a complete breakdown due to the proposed ban on caged poultry farming in favor of open farming. Ill-informed animal rights activists backed by NGOs who often receive funding from overseas have petitioned Indian courts that open poultry farming is a better alternative to caged poultry farming. If one scratches the surface of this issue, it becomes obvious that not only are these so-called animal rights activists ill-informed, but they seem to be working towards a clear and definite objective of crippling the Indian poultry sector at the behest of their foreign masters. Let's see how facts are twisted and misrepresented. Activists have gone on to state in courts that in-caged poultry farming birds are kept in battery-operated cages where they can get electric shocks. While the fact of the matter is that the word battery is quoted out of context to create the perception that caged birds are mistreated. In caged poultry farming, when a number of cages are scientifically designed to be stacked or to be placed close to each other, that is referred to as a battery of cages or a cage battery. There is no electrical supply of any sort in a battery cage and it is entirely safe. With this experience of about 40 years, I can say that the cage system which has been developed and has been adopted by us is basically the need of the hour. See, we are 130 crore plus people in this country. If you look at the agriculture side, the growth of agriculture is pretty less, about 1.5 or 2.5 percent is the growth. And the mouths to be fed have gone up. So we have no other means, you know, than to depend on the animal origin protein sources to suffice our protein hunger. And for that, we have to grow the productivity of animal origin products and in that, the eggs and the meat are the best and the cheapest that are available in our country. So it was necessary to grow the birds in good numbers, in huge numbers. And for that, the shift from deep litter system to the cage system was followed. If you look at the basic principles of welfare, the five freedoms that have been described, if you look at the cages, none of them is violated. Basically, one must understand that as long as the birds, animals or human beings, whosoever he or she may be, if they are comfortable, the performance will be good. The fact that the productivity of the birds is extremely well. Now the birds are laying about 330 plus eggs. Broilers are producing very nicely with 2.6 kg plus body weight within a span of about six weeks. This productivity itself is an indirect indication that the systems in which the birds are maintained are good and the birds are comfortable. As a matter of fact, the aviary system of open farming is where birds are in danger of coming in contact with electrical currents. In the aviary system, multiple perches are created in a room where birds are reared. As in all kinds of open farming, red mites are a major pest which infest in the aviary system as well. In order to control the number of red mites, aviary perches are electrified. These are the same perches on which birds sit. I would like to quote the research work conducted in different countries of the world comparing the case system of rearing versus the alternative system of rearing. They compared the cage versus free rear system, the floor system and the aviary system. They found that the case system of rearing, the disease incidence is less, the eggs are more cleaner and the salmonella incidence is also less, the ammonia production is less in the case system and even the injuries to the bird like pecking, bone fractures, all these things are less in the case system of rearing and it is easy to manage in the case system of rearing. That is why lot of research work has been conducted. I am just mentioning few of them. So they finally they concluded that the case system of rearing 
is more economical it is more better from the welfare point of view better from the disease control point of view and overall management and from the biosecurity point of view and the most important the cost of egg production furthermore the menace of red mites only multiplies in aviary system since birds move around at close quarters a single bird can have as many as hundreds of thousands of red mites on its body scientific evidence shows that red mites can drain up to 5% of a bird's blood and this leads to fatigue in the birds and an increase in mortality rates in a number of cases it has also been observed that a bird that has been bitten by red mites is attacked and pecked by other birds leading to cannibalism within the aviary these factors make open farming a breeding ground for diseases in birds and even causes a drop in egg quality the only way to control these red mites is by spraying pesticides or administering antibiotics to the birds both of which are not advisable for birds being reared for meat and egg production since pesticides and antibiotics can have adverse effects on humans put these birds in the cages they performed well and also economically also they were viable and the poultry farmers have improved a lot we could able to control most of this this is infections in the cage system because they are not coming in contact with the litter litter so most of the litter borne organisms will cause such disease in birds therefore in my opinion cage system is far better in the birds were in the floor system we saw some ectoparasites these ectoparasites consisting of lice and mites and also sometimes ticks all these three often we used to in some batches we used to see all these things and it's very difficult to eradicate them and although we say that you know the bird will take bath and this that everything but it was not correct it was not possible because you know, it, it, the organisms will grow faster than the birds and there will be more number of organisms used to be there in the on the birds of the or uh, the body of the birds so therefore it was difficult to eradicate these birds used to have lot of problems especially coccidiosis and also the organisms which comes from the soil such as clostridium infection and also the salmonella and corinne bacterium staphylococcus aureus and all these organisms e coli especially and water contamination also most of the soil bacteria survive for a long duration more than 110 days to 120 25 days depending upon the types of the soil and when we rear these birds they will get infection that is bacterial side in the viral side many other species feral birds they travel from other area and they come for feed with the poultry then they is to suffer from different viral diseases such as ronicate disease or newcastle disease and also even sometimes avian influenza and other viral diseases also used to come none of these hazards exist in a caged poultry system where all parameters are monitored and birds are much safer and healthier open farming is not only hazardous to the birds but also to poultry farmers both physiologically and financially open farming systems are extremely dusty and farmers working in such poultry farms often suffer from serious respiratory ailments in european countries what's happened after shifting from cage system of rearing to the free range system there was a incidence of bird flu bird flu is also called as a avian flu this bird flu it spreads from bird to bird not only bird to bird it spreads from one country to another country it is a highly dangerous viral disease even some there is a possibility of spreading to the human being what's more is open farming systems like aviary farms cost 4 to 5 times a caged poultry farm housing the same number of birds would in a country like india 
where farmers mostly look towards bank loans to set up and run poultry farms, these exorbitant costs will make survival of poultry farmers almost impossible. If you want to change the system of rearing from cane system to the alternative system of rearing, the cost of production, it increases. Now you say it is 5 rupees, it may go up to 15 rupees, it may go up to 20 rupees. Not only that, the, for the farmers to change the system from one system to other system, it requires a lot of money, crores of money it requires. So already farmers are under distress. So in this condition, recommending changing of system is not at all advisable and the current system of case system of rearing what you have is the best system of rearing for our country. Frankly speaking, don't take me other way around, nobody is respecting science. See, a lot of work has been done. 420 square centimeters, 450 square centimeters, say like 750 square centimeters tuck, people have worked out. And people have comfortably reached to a conclusion with respect to corticosteroid levels, corti co the, the stress levels, productivity, etc. That 450 square centimeters per bird is enough space for the bird to live comfortably without compromising any welfare issue and getting prof prof profitable productivity from the birds. And uh, we have carried out some work at Bombay Veterinary College also and we have concluded that the systems are good enough. We have done permutations and combinations of you know various types of cages and the space allotted to the bird. And we by and large we have concluded that 450 square centimeters per bird is good enough a space uh, for the bird to be reared in cage system. The question we need to ask is who is really benefiting from a probable imposition of a ban on caged poultry farming in India? Is it our farmers and the Indian poultry industry? or elements in other countries who know that a booming Indian poultry sector is a serious threat to their own interests.